peace and blessings to you folks. I want to encourage you to encourage one another. So therefore, I have another spiritual vitamin for you today to encourage you. We, that includes you and I, should encourage one another daily, on a daily basis. You never know what someone is going through. You never know what they are experiencing. The devil is not playing out here, y'all. The devil is out here seeking whom he may devour. He wants to destroy you any way he can. He will try to attack you through your finances, through your relationships, through your family, your friends, your loved ones, your husband, your wife, your children, at the workplace. He will attack your health, mental health, physical health, your spiritual health. The devil wants to destroy you any way he can. He wants to divide and conquer you. Folks, encourage one another. Encourage one another daily as long as it is called today, the Bible says. I am telling you right now that just hearing a friendly word from someone or, or just a friendly smile, a friendly hello, how are you? Picking up the phone and calling your loved one, calling your mother, calling your father, calling your sister or your brother, parents calling your children, children calling your parents. You just don't know at, one, at what time that it could be a simple phone call, a simple hello, a simple I love you that will just make a person's day so great and wonderful that will bring peace and comfort to an individual. Encouragement. We must encourage one another. I was at the gym today and I was listening to a song. It was called Discipline. It was by a gang star. It was a rap song while I was working out and I sent it to my nephew and my nephew said to me he said hey i know that song he said how come you sent it to me i said because it's uplifting he said but i i know the song and i heard it before and i said yeah but you know what chicken tastes like right i said but you still eat it and you still like it and you know what ribeye steaks taste like and you still eat it and you still like it and it nourishes your body well some of you know what the word sounds like. Some of you have heard encouraging messages. And those same encouraging messages that you've heard over and over at some time in your life, you have heard it at the right time and it just reminded you it was brought to the forefront of your brain and it lifted you up. Sometimes you just need to hear an encouraging word. So I want to encourage each and every one of you that no matter what you are going through right now, it is temporary. It's a temporary condition. It's a temporary situation. It will soon pass because if God brought, brought you to it, he will bring you through it. He didn't bring you to it to just leave you in it. He wants you to not only go through the storm, he wants you to grow through the storm. So he is constantly building you up. He is constantly teaching you. He is constantly uh, pressuring you so that you can come out like a fine diamond that has been pressured at, and crushed at the greatest amount of heat and pressure. It is temporary. No matter what you are going through, folks, it's only temporary. And I want to encourage you with three spiritual vitamins. First, I have Joshua 1.9. It says, have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. He says, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Once again, Joshua 1, 9, the first spiritual vitamin. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go you go. God is with you wherever you go. He's saying do not be afraid. And the Bible says do not be afraid 365 times. That's one time for every day of the year. Do not be afraid. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Stand up my brothers and sisters and be strong. Be courageous. Do not succumb to the wiles of the devil. He wants to destroy you any way he can. The second spiritual vitamin is John 16:33. It says I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. 
So what the Lord is telling you here, he says, I have told you these things so that in him, in the Lord, in me, Jesus is saying, he says, in me, you may have peace. You may find your peace with the Lord. If you can't find peace nowhere else, God got your back when nobody else has your back. He loves you unconditionally, no matter what, no matter what you have done, no matter what sin you have committed, he will, he will forgive you. The only sin that he won't forgive you is for blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, speaking sacrilegiously against the Holy Spirit, not accepting Jesus Christ. He can't forgive you for that. But he forgives you for every sin that you have committed. And he loves you unconditionally. He says, in him, you will have peace. He says, in this world, you will have trouble. So fine, Lord, allow him in. He's knocking at the door of your heart. He says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if anyone hears my voice and open the door, I will come into him and eat with them, sup with them, he says, and them with me. He's knocking at the door of your heart. Just open up your heart. Submit and surrender to the will of God and let him in. And you will have peace no matter what you are going through. It doesn't mean that you're not going to go through a storm, but you will have peace in him. You will be able to meet and overcome all obstacles in your path. You will rise superior to the trials of life. You will overcome the world just as Jesus Christ overcame the world. The third and final spiritual vitamin that I have for you, my friends, my brothers and sisters, is Isaiah 4110. He says, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. He will touch upon everything that you touch upon. 